is the limit. And uh, before I see that, I want to go back and find something. Yes, I wanted to show you this. This is taken with the Hubble telescope. And uh, it, it took until about 1920 to find out if we were the only universe. And it took really powerful telescopes to show us this. But look what we've got here. You see how this is like a point with little rays sticking out? That's probably a sun. That's probably a star. But look at this thing here. They were able to see and hear and hear that there are billions and billions of galaxies. And it took the Hubble telescope. You can turn that up a little bit if you need to. I'm sorry I skipped over that. I'm going to go through it real quick now. It doesn't take very long. There's the uh, narration. There is the example of the Big Bang and getting to, to where we are now. There's the Hubble telescope. There's our solar system, our Earth, our icy worlds, descriptions of the icy worlds and the asteroid belt, what I think our solar system may look like from a far, far distance, our sun, the relative sizes, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, the sky is the limit. And what's the big dream? That's what I thought of. I'm not saying that these kids, I'm sorry kids, I'll get out of your way. I'm not saying that these kids are going into outer space. I don't mean that. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. They're living at a time of the most rapid change in history. We only learned that there are other galaxies 100 years or so ago. Now, they're going to have to grow up and adapt to a world that's getting much too warm, much too fast. They're going to have to get educations. They're going to have to make their way in the world. They may or may not have tragedies. Most of us do. But right now, the big dream is the big question mark. And Popoff's heart strongly is hoping that his grandchildren never in history and by history has well. government mandated the private sector